Hello everyone. So I wanted to create this quick video since many FSI organizations are looking to enable semantic search across their entire organizational data uh, to allow employees to search for information on demand. So in this video, I will show you how you can enable that semantic search experience using a single Power Virtual Agent chatbot without actually migrating your data from source location. Uh, before we get started with the demo, uh, I quickly want to talk about uh, two things. One uh, is the three new generative AI features that were announced during the build conference for Power Virtual Agent. And then second, I also want to discuss the high level two-step two design pattern that we would be using uh, to build this bot. So let's start with uh, the three new features in Power Virtual Agent. So we have, the first one we have is generative answers or conversation booster feature that allows your chatbot to connect directly to an external facing uh, website or an internal SharePoint or OneDrive location um, right out of the box. So uh, with minimal configuration, um, your bot can start using data from these data sources to provide uh, responses to your users um, using this conversation booster feature. The second feature uh, that we announced was generative actions. Um, this is based on lang chain concept where um, depending on the requests coming from the user, uh, the chatbot might need to pull information from multiple data sources or uh, from multiple uh, authored topics. Um, so generative action allows you to do that by creating uh, or forming the interaction during runtime. Uh, for example, when a user is uh, requesting for some information, the chatbot can intelligently understand the intent and then uh, call different APIs or authored topic uh, that's needed to provide a response back or to complete that request from the user. Uh, so that's the new feature that is in private preview right now. So gen this is not generally available yet. Um, you can apply for private preview for, uh, for the generative action feature. And then lastly, we have the co-pilot co -pilot feature, which has been, uh, which is now in GA. Um, you can use Copilot to uh, create topics, author topics quickly by describing them in natural language. Um, and then the PBA uh, platform will uh, transform that natural language into a fully working topic. Uh, this is very useful when you're working, at, working on a use case that requires large number of uh, authored topics. So the second slide um, I wanted to show is the design pattern uh, for creating the uh, search bot that can source data from uh, different sources within your organization. Um, so you can see here, these are the channels that are available in Power Virtual Agent today. Um, and then the Power Virtual Agent would uh, complete the user's request in two steps. The first one is uh, doing a semantic search uh, to get the right information. And then um, once the information is uh, located, uh, using uh, OpenAI models to do the summarization. For doing the semantic search, we have four options. We have uh, conversation booster, uh, which we already uh, spoke about. So if your data source is uh, SharePoint, OneDrive, or a public-facing website, you can uh, leverage the inbuilt conversation booster feature uh, to find the right information. Uh, we have graph API uh, that you can connect to using Power Automate. Uh, so if your data source is SharePoint, OneDrive, uh, mail, email box, um, uh, Teams, you could leverage graph API to locate the uh, information or to search or search the information using Graph API. The third uh, option is uh, creating a 
Azure Cognitive Search API, which can index uh, pretty much any uh, external location. So if your data is outside M365 services, uh, you can quickly create a Azure Cognitive Search API that can pull uh, data from different sources and create indexes, uh, making it available uh, for searching. And then last, um, but uh, last option is um, if you are if your data is on any of the third party um, platforms, uh, you can leverage the uh, search API provided by those platforms um, using Power Automate to locate or to get the right information. So once we have the information uh, based on user's prompt. The second step would be to pass that information to a to a, a open AI model to do the summarization. And for summarization, we have three options. So we spoke about conversation booster, which can do both uh, semantic search as well as summarization. It's a pre-built feature within PBA. Uh, the second option is um, we have a pre-built GPT model, um, which is made available in AI Builder. So AI Builder is the uh, machine learning component of Power Platform. Uh, we have pre-built model uh, that already has summarization template that you can leverage uh, to quickly do the summarization using uh, low code experience of Power Platform. Uh, and then the last option is uh, using the Azure OpenAI service which would allow you more granular control in terms of uh, setting the parameters on the service, um, as well as applying any uh, filters and things like that. So these are the three options for summarization. So once the summa summarization is done, uh, you can show the response back to the user. So now I'll quickly move to the demo uh, and showcase um, all these options just to show you how easy it is to create that search experience. So for this demo, I have created a demo HR uh, site on SharePoint, which has a SharePoint library where you can upload documents. Um, and what I have done is I've embedded the chatbot on this website. So I'll start by logging in. Um, Uh, and once you log in, um, these are the three different sources I can connect to uh, to search my information. So the graph API searches uh, against the documents that are uploaded on this website. Um, Azure Cognitive Search API allows me to search across uh, documents that are uploaded to my Azure Blob instance. And then for Conversation Booster, I have connected this chatbot to Microsoft's HR website. Uh, so I can ask any HR related question using Conversation Booster and it will use the data from Microsoft's HR website to respond. So let me start with, um, let me start with Graph API. Um, so I can select Graph API as my source and I will, uh, search for something like is personal use of Amex corporate card allowed? Uh, and what this does is this would basically, um, these are the three options that are shown. It basically triggers a topic that calls this Power Automate flow. And if you look at the Power Automate flow, it calls the graph API to get the information based on user's prompt. And once the information is found, it's using the AI builder uh, to do the summarization. So now if I go back, you can see that uh, it's able to provide me a summary along with the link to the source document. Um, next, I will use the Azure Cognitive Search API. So for this, before I do the search, I want to show you how you can set this up. Um, so 
if I go to my Azure portal, I have created a resource group which has the search service and a storage uh, account or storage service. Okay. Um, so first I have created a container within my Azure blob, which has all my documents that are uploaded. Uh, next, I have created a search service, which basically uh, indexes the information that uh, that is within that blob container. Um, and then also, uh, I have also created an indexer that runs every hour um, to pull any new information that is being uploaded on the Azure blob uh, container. Once this is set up, uh, there's a new feature available in Azure AI Studio. So you can see, um, you can directly add your data. So in this case, I'm adding my Azure Cognitive Search uh, directly here. And once I do that, I can start asking questions um, and it will use the information from uh, the Azure blob to answer my question. So if I say, how is airfare paid? You can see um, it's going to get the response along with um, a reference to the source document. Uh, so this is already set up. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just using the semantic search API to get the information. So it now coming back to my chatbot, if I select Azure API search, um, I can ask the same question here, how is airfare paid? And what this does is basically makes a call using the Azure, Azure Cognitive uh, Search API and provides a summary along with the a reference to the source document. And the, you can see the setup for the Power Automate flow here. Um, so it's calling the Cognitive Search API with the input. And I'm using Azure OpenAI service to do the summarization. And then the last option that I have uh, is a conversation booster. Like I said, for this demo, I have pointed this to uh, Microsoft's HR website. So in this case, if I select conversation booster and I ask a um, question like DNI programs at Microsoft, what this will do is basically get information from Microsoft HR uh, website along with uh, links to the source information. And to show you the setup for this, uh, all you have to do is go to AI capabilities and um, specify the website that you want to use for Conversation Booster. So that wraps up the demo. Um, you can see based on uh, this demo, how easy it is to connect to any data source and make it available uh, to your employees using Power Virtual Agent. Uh, if you need any more information, uh, please feel free to email me or send me a note. Thanks, everyone.